Hey guys, this is Ronnie and my little sous chef Brantley. Today we're making a special recipe for you. This is a South Carolina traditional recipe. This is catfish stew. We'll be right back. All right guys, it's fall time in the South, which means a couple of things. It means football, cooler weather, and soups and stews. So today I'm gonna share with you a favorite recipe of mine. This is my favorite way to eat catfish. Uh, I don't prefer it fried like most people do. I prefer it in a stew like this. I know some people kind of turn their nose up at it when they hear this word, but I want you to follow through and try to make this at least once in your lifetime and try it and I promise you, you will love it. Uh, most people that do try it love it. I can't promise that you will love it. So anyway, I like it Family likes it and most of the people uh, In our area do like this So um, I'm gonna show you uh, some of the basic ingredients. It's not a lot of ingredients that we're going to use So here we go So we're gonna start off with bacon first That's one of the first ingredients We got tomatoes we have celery, we have potatoes, Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, salt and pepper, and the main ingredient, catfish. We're also gonna throw in uh, a little bit of garlic, and then we'll use one medium onion, or one large onion, whichever you have on hand. That's pretty much it on the ingredients list. Let's show you how we cook this up.
All right, guys, we got our catfish stew on the uh, burner here. A couple things I want to know. You saw me cut everything up. You saw me put it in the pot. I will leave a description below of the recipe. I'll also put a link to our website. I'll try to put this on my website. It has a printable copy. We put all the ingredients together except for the catfish fillets. We brought our stew up to a boil. We cut it down on low and we added in our catfish fillets in. What's gonna happen is those are gonna poach in that broth. The catfish itself is gonna make a good uh, broth and um, it'll eventually break up and it'll be little tiny pieces in there. You'll hardly ever, hardly even notice there's catfish in it. I promise you. The potatoes and the catfish will cause this to thicken up a little bit and uh, hopefully I'll bring you back at the end and let you see what it looks like. And we'll try it. We usually use a little bit of oyster, um, a little bit of oyster crackers in there and some more Texas peat. Want to get a video and show you the catfish. You can see the white meat there is the catfish. Like I said, it'll just see it right there. It'll just break right up. See it right there? As you stir it, it'll, it'll just break up into fine pieces. The more you stir it, and then before long, like I say, this'll, this'll be a, a nice stew. Smells good already. Try this catfish stew, fresh out of the bowl. Mm. Man, that's good right there. Got a nice smoky, take a little bit of the fish in it. Really good. Try this out. Three, let's get food on. All right, guys, do you like videos like this? Try clicking on one of these videos right here. I'm sure you'll like it too. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel. That way when we release new videos, you will be notified. You can click the little bell notification and it'll send you a notification on your phone or your computer that we got a new video out. Thank you. One, two, three. One, two, three. Come on now. Let's get food junk. Jump. Oh. One, two, three. Let's.